excited, man. I just, I, I'm excited for music, bro. I'm, I'm excited for music, man. August D, Suga. BTS. I honestly just really want to hop into it because I'm just so excited for this goddamn thing, but I'm also excited to just do some goddamn Mr. 2K got two, bro. Hey man, it's an exciting week, bro. Right now, doing Suga. Then I'm finna do twice. I honestly don't even know what my fucking schedule's looking like, but I'm ready. It's D-Day. I'm excited. Let's get into this, man. Bro, literally, before I cut this camera on, bugs. Straight bugs bro i'm i'm like in a battlefield every single goddamn day and i'm getting goddamn sick of it there was a bug right near my damn stick light i'm sick of it track track oh track one d day d day i'm i'm ready bro oh i'm ready i'm ready i'm always ready bro oh, oh, Oh no! Oh, I love the vibe to this one. The future's gonna be okay, bro. The future, the future's gonna be okay. Future's gonna be okay. Oh, I can tell. I can tell. I can tell. Just off that, it's going to be up there with me, bro. It's going to be up there with me. I, lo I love the chorus on yeah. that. Too many fun cool got a nigga. Yeah. Ain't no one in a nigga. Yeah. Oh, what about you? Yeah. Lunge. Got you in a panda. 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 Got Oh, this nigga low key just dissed me a few seconds ago. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. On that second verse, he was. I'm, I'm not even gonna say low key. I'm not even gonna say high key. Not the nigga was spitting, bro. Really? What is it exactly that's been restricting us? Maybe we do it to ourselves. Slaves to capitalism, slaves to money, slaves to hatred and prejudice, slaves to YouTube, slaves to flexing. WHY THIS THING IS SPINNING?! Holy shit! That is literally just how human be- Like, as human beings, we are a slave to a lot of things, bro. And the multitude of things that he says, like, we are for sure on all four slaves to those things. You know, I feel you know, there, there's people that are slaves to hatred. We obviously got our people that are doing the right thing and spreading love and positivity. We all, you know, have no problem with love and positivity. You know, I, I you, you already know your boy, Mr. 2K God, love him some love and positivity. I ain't gonna lie, YouTube is pretty addicting. And we're in that era where a lot of people be flexing this stuff. So I've got to agree with him heavily on that. So far, first two tracks, loving the choruses, dude. Next track. With J Hope, J Hope literally just enlisted. I'm I'm gonna talk about more of that conversation later about all the enlistments happening. Jen is in, and now J Hope is going in, and now he's trying to figure out who the hell is going in next. Track three, huh? Featuring J Hope. <laughs> Why do I feel like he has like creative control over this thing? Cause I feel like I feel his own swagger on this. I was so immersed into his verse, I forgot J Hope was even on this thing. What the hell do you know about me? Talking his shit. Talking his shit. Talking his shit. Love, love that he is straight up talking, talking his shit. He is his own artist. A lot of these guys that are in the group are their own artists, to be honest. I honestly don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing that we are getting all of this music solo from the guys because it's like I said at the beginning, like it's on. Like it, it pains me. I feel like I'm the only man out here that be that be like watching these guys like this because I be watching a lot of the interviews. I be watching a lot of the fan mashups. I be watching a lot of their stuff, man. And you know, I, I've gotten. I'm not gonna say I've gotten to know guys over the last few months, over the past like six, seven, eight months from you know going from a fan that knows Dino. And the thing is, I need to do better with listening to BTS's music as a whole because 
my main goes to's are you know the the mainstream stuff like you know life goes on butter dynamite permission to dance fire like, i i want to get into their other stuff and i have that habit of not diving in to their discography and i don't know why i'm like that but back to the point that i was gonna like i was trying to make um it's really sad that it's like i said like the time has come man and we all knew that this was coming because we all know that south korea has that mandatory military service and it doesn't matter if you're famous doesn't matter who the hell you are bro as soon as you know it they're gonna be throwing kids in that bitch dude they don't give a damn Tuga is around 30 something obviously he is you know, getting close to having to go in. Um, RM has made hints that he could potentially be going in next. And the thing is, all of this has to be done quickly, dude. It makes me sad in my mind to think that the group is gone until potentially 2025. And that is just insane for me just to think of it. And it makes me sad because right when these guys were literally going extremely crazy in the world like literally worldwide man these guys made it worldwide and the thing that korea has in place has their worldwide takeover put on hold man it does make me sad but i have faith in them but not only faith in them but the army as well because the army don't play, bro. They they don't play. I feel like we can hold off for a, a year and a half. But uh, you know th that track, love the aggression. I'm not too from. And see, that's the thing. Like I'm familiar with a lot of K-pop, but I'm not too familiar with Korean rap. So, um, and I'm gonna keep it a bean. I think this might be my first Korean rap album that I'm like listening to, other than like listening to uh, uh, Seo Taeji and the Boys. Like I've heard them, but other than that, I don't. Re I'm not really too familiar with too too many Korean rappers because I pretty much mainly listen to Korean R R and B, K pop, and um, a little bit of Korean soul. Track four, Amy Gadala. Did I pronounce that right? Oh, I wasn't. I wasn't expecting singing. I know oh, I was not expecting it. God, why do I want to talk again already, bro? I want to talk again already. Found out who it was, Adora, and she has song written for all of the boys, which is extremely dope. I don't. Why is she not credit? Why is she not credited in that song, bro? I love that we're getting a, a whole mixture of things in here. We're getting a tiny little bit of personal things in here. We're getting a little bit of flexing. We're getting a little bit of hey, we got a problem with this in terms of the human society and the and us as humans in general. For oh my god, like I'm about to, I'm about to, I'm about to, I'm about to, I'm about to. I've already heard this song. I've already heard. I am going. I, I, I can't even stand up straight thinking about this woman. I do. I was literally finna get ready to watch uh, Hotel de Luna, and I, I was getting ready to watch like another drama that IU was a part of, but bro, I love that woman. I love that woman. No IU disrespect should ever be motherfucking put out on the interwebs or just anywhere in general. If anyone ever disrespects I, I don't even know what I'd even do, bro. I don't even know what I'd do. I would serve that woman, bro. I would literally get in a butler suit, 
tux and everything. I don't even care if I can't even fit into the tux. I would serve her, bro. This sound ridiculous and everything I'm saying, but I'm just being honest. There's a, ooh. loved her last album, Lilac. I hope and pray that this woman doesn't wait four fucking years to release another album. I hope she comes out with an album. Hopefully, I don't know, maybe this year or next year. Track six, People Part Two, featuring IU. <laughs> It's a bop. 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 I don't even I don't even know why that song's not in my favorite songs of 2023. That song is going in my favorite songs of 2023. The, they the, both of their chemistry is just like so, so good. I can't remember the other track that they did together, but man, when I remember when I first heard that track when it first came out, I was extremely and heavily impressed, man. I I, I love IU. I I love all of her work. I've been watching a little bit of her uh, YouTube stuff based around the uh, like the cooking in the kitchen and stuff. I I know that Suga went on that show as well, and I still have to watch that episode. But man. I think easily, dude. I'm not even gonna cap. I think that might be the best song off the album, and I'm not even done with the album yet. But I'm not gonna sit up here and be biased. But oh, uh, would it be fucked up if I if I said if I said that she that she carried that? I don't want to disrespect my man Suga, but goddamn, bro, I just love her so much, bro. One issue that I do have with that song, I do wish that she had a verse. I wish that she had a verse. I wish that she wasn't only on the chorus. But both of them did their part. I just wish that she also had like one little verse. Cause we did get three verses from Suga. I feel like it would have got like at least one little short fourth verse from IU. But hell, that that's just that's just my standingness coming out right there. Track four, Polar Night. <laughs> I person like it, it, when I was listening to that song, reading, reading along with the lyrics, I just immediately thought to myself, like, see, th this is exactly why we need, you know, people like Suga in the world. The reason why we need, you know, the guys at BTS. The reason why we need IU. The reason why we need all these other multitude of k-pop artists in the world or just artists in general because they are going to be the people that are going to be brave and to speak up on matters that a lot of other artists might be a little afraid to say because i personally feel like with big hit and bts and them and their solo stuff i feel like I personally feel like Big Hit is giving these guys a lot of creative control, and I love that because when I'm listening to this thing, it doesn't just sound like a cooked-together thing that the label gave him and said, here, here are your lyrics, here is this, here is that. Listening to this, this sounds like something that Suga made. The production, I like the production. I like how different the production is compared to like American hip hop. And see, that's the thing that I, that's dope about the world, man, is like not every single thing is going to sound like American rap. And this sounds nothing like American rap, but back to the point that I was trying to make is I like that he was talking about like certain specific political matters in that track. Don't know those political matters, but you know, that made me think, see, it's like, this is why we need people like this to be able to speak for us because, you know, government or whomever, they be listening to these artists and they be listening to uh, what they say. And sometimes the government has a fucking problem, but you know, we need artists like this to you know, sh shed light on things that, you know, people like me might not be able to extend a lot, you know, like someone of this magnitude. So it's like I said, I just love how he's had 
control over this thing. I've been reading through. He's he's helped in writing. He's also producing uh, some of the album as well. I love that. I love that. Shout out the big hit, bro. Track eight, Interlude, Dawn. This sounds like something that could be in a goddamn K-drama, goddamn! Ooh, this beat remind me of, um... It's giving me the vibe of a certain early, mid-2000 song, bro. Ooh! I hear this. I hear the symphonies in the back. I hear the symphonies in the back. It, it sounds like something that could be at the end credits of a movie. Uh, uh, it is action thriller. I've got I've got to speak on that track I, and people might not even notice it uh Ryuchi Sakamoto's presence you feel it on there man I love the pianos that I heard in the background that went phenomenally with the production I really love the vibes on that thing but not only that Wu Sung I've never heard that man music maybe I might have I'm not sure but I loved him on the chorus as well. So, final track, Life Goes On. When I saw the track name Life Goes On, I had a feeling. I love how he did that little thing with Life Goes On at the end, bro. And it's almost like it was like an extension of what his verse would have been if he had a longer verse on the BTS version. I honestly thought that was a, 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 pr a pretty cool album from uh, Suga. It honestly feels like this could potentially potentially be the send-off album that we get from him so like i said no clue who is how has he not went because how has he not win in yet because suga is 30 so so why why didn't he why isn't he in the military deployment thing right now what what has held him from going in thought that this was a pretty cool uh, album love what all of the the features had to offer love what i'm hearing still trying to get used to reviewing korean rap k-pop because i'm really like people don't really catch me listening to it in public a lot which i honestly have no problem with people seeing me listen to k-pop because k-pop and there's been a lot of videos on the mr 2k god channel where i did you know play some k-pop at the beginning intro on my video but other than that well i really haven't reacted to a lot of k-pop i'm 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 more used to doing you know the hip-hop reactions you know this is taking me you know it, it's a i ain't gonna lie to y'all it's a little awkward for me a little bit you know it's you know i hope that y'all like this video it's like i said i don't know how like it, it's gonna take me a while because i haven't really done a lot of videos on this channel yet especially when it has come came to k-pop like i've only done twice and i've only done new jeans so far on here but hopefully as time goes on and time progresses i'll get you i'll start to get more comfortable because uh, enjoy i really en enjoy this album i cannot wait till i listen to jimin's album i can't wait till i listen to twice's album 17 came out a few days ago i'm not sure if i'm gonna react to their new ep you know stay tuned you know i got a lot more albums on the way jimin's album obviously paramore 
RM still really want to do RM's album, Cali Uchis, Lana Del Rey. So, you know, if you're if you are a fan of those artists and y'all can't wait till I uh, do a video on them, I suggest y'all subscribe, man, because those are coming. So, um, not gonna lie, it's like I said, like I'm a little, I, I'm, I'm a little out of my comfort zone right now. Like I'm, I'm extremely out of my comfort zone right now. But you know, I'm, I'm gonna work on getting comfortable. So, um, hope y'all enjoyed the video, uh, Mr. Two K Guy Two. Um, I'm out this bitch.